George Waller. Good morning, ma'am. Do you have uh, Radu Montine? Can you start with Montine, please? So you don't want to start with page one? We are, no. but Montine is the one we want to do first. Then we can do right. Wallace and Corker. Sorry about that. Alright, what is your full name, sir? Alright, thank you, Mr. Martin. Listen carefully. This is cases number 16, 705, 851. People of the state of Michigan versus Radu Vasili Montine. Mr. Montine, the charges against you are as follows. Assault with intent to commit murder. That is a felony charge, sir, that carries with it a potential prison sentence of up to life or any number of years. Count two is assault with intent to do great bodily harm, less than murder. That is a felony charge if you were, con and, and by the way, you're presumed innocent of these charges. If you were convicted of this charge, you could do zero to ten years and or be fined up to $5,000. Count three is unlawful imprisonment. That is also a felony. And the potential sentence if you were convicted is zero to 15 years and or a fine of zero to $20,000. Count four is felonious assault. That's a four-year, $2,000 maximum felony. And then count five is felony firearm. And the claim here is that what felony firearm means, sir, is that if you are convicted of a felony, and that felony involves a firearm, you could be separately charged with possession of firearm while in commission of a felony. And if you were convicted of that, and if you were sentenced to prison on any of on any other charge that you were convicted of, you would have to do two years without any expectation of parole before you started on the other other parts of the sentence. Do you understand that? I believe, I believe, I believe. All right, and the last charge here is a one-year misdemeanor uh, aggravated domestic violence. Now, in, gen in general, Mr. Montine, do you understand what I have said about these charges? I believe I do. All right, sir, I'm entering a plea of not guilty for you and going to set what we call a pre hearing conference on Monday, April 4th at 1 o'clock in the afternoon in the Frank Murphy Hall of Justice, which is Recorder's Court downtown. I'm scheduling your preliminary examination for 1.30 p.m. on Monday, April 11th, also in the Frank Murphy Hall of Justice. Uh, Mr. Montine, are you working right now? I own a couple of businesses. I'm self-employed. I see. What kind of businesses? I I own a, a I own a few rentals and a food truck and a, a construction business. I see. Do you, can you tell me what your income is roughly? Uh, Weekly. It varies. A, it varies. Weekly. It All right. If you can afford to hire an attorney, you certainly should afford to. You certainly should hire an attorney. However, uh, if you can't afford to hire an attorney, I'm going to make sure that one is appointed to represent you. And you should only discuss this matter with the attorney. Your conversations with that lawyer are confidential. And conversations with anybody else could be used in court against you. Um, 
I'm going to set a $100,000 cash or surety bond. Um, you're all set, Mr. Montine. Thank you. Yes. Who would you like that, man? Whoever. Wallace or Corker is fine. Corker. Sorry, I'm going to have it. It's one out of the door. 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 It's one out of the door